Hi, I'm Steve Wood from ManyHue, and I'm just going to walk you through a demonstration of how you can build uh, a basic flow uh, using our platform. So um, I'm assuming you've uh, got yourself an account and you're all set to go and you've gone through the Getting Started Guide. So this is just going to focus on the aspects of building a new flow. So first thing I'm going to do is log in. Now, once I'm logged in, I can immediately start building flows. So in this case, I'm going to build a flow that helps people uh, troubleshoot router issues with our home router. So that's what we're going to do. We're just going to build a very, very simple example, so this isn't going to be a full rich uh, flow, but it'll just give you a sense of the features uh, that we've released in our public beta that just uh, has gone out on the 1st of July. So I hit uh, flows. Uh, the first thing I need to do is create a new one. And then I'm going to select the Salesforce service. If you don't have this uh, listed in your options then you probably haven't done or, or gone through a getting started guide so I'd suggest you have a look at that um, before going through this. If you go to our resources page on our website uh, there's a link to the documentation and the getting started guide is right in there. Um, so I'll create a new flow and this flow is going to be tied to Salesforce to provide our identity. It's just going to provide us with our user uh, base. We've got an ability for users to log in. It's also going to provide us with our actual so our social network, and I'll show you that. So router uh, diagnostic. This flow helps with router issues. Okay, uh, you can see we can set all sorts of access, user access, uh, which is based on you know certain users having access to the flow or their followers. Uh, we can also do things like group level access, so people who are members of certain groups within Chatter can have access. And we can do location access, which is to say that you can only have access to the flow in certain uh, places in certain locations. Uh, we're not going to touch any of that. We're just going to set the authentication to be all account users, which means everybody who can use the, our Salesforce account uh, can also use this flow. And then we're going to create a new collaboration stream for people to uh, collaborate when using this flow. That's fairly straightforward. Now that we've created the flow, we have this basic start icon, and that's going to be where our flow actually begins. This won't be shown to the user, just this is just to show where the actual flow begins. So the first thing we're going to do is create a new step. And a step is basically just an instruction to the user. It's the first of the elements that we've released in the, in the public beta. We'll be releasing more. Um, so the step basically allows users to read what they need to do. So in this case, let's start by saying, hey, let's get them to do the, the basics of troubleshooting. So uh, router basics is what we're going to call it. I'm going to say, um, check the basics of the router. So, one is the cable plugged in at both ends. Two, are all of the lights on on the front of the, oops, the router? Maybe three. Uh, is the cable connector on the back of the computer flashing green? So those are a few things that they could basically do. So you can imagine if I'm an expert in troubleshooting uh, router issues, I, I could pull, pull together a little quick little checklist here. So we'll just sort of save that. And so that's the first thing. Get get that out of the way. The router basics. So we'll just say so. The, when we start, the first step we're going to go to is our little router basics. I'll just call this. Uh, connection go. Um, and the arrow basically represents uh, the, the, the path the user will follow. So the first thing they'll do is they'll start the app, they'll immediately be taken to the router basics. Now let's add in another step. And another step will just be, you know, maybe that, that's fine, that, that got it working. So but this is, um, uh, actually no, I'll put no, no, not working. I guess I say, um, so basically what we're saying is the lights haven't worked on the modem. So what I'm going to do here is say, all right, well, we need to get a new cable. The customer needs to get a new cable if they have one at their home. Uh, get them to check it now. Otherwise, we'll send one out. Okay, so save that step. So that's going to be, okay, so the lights aren't working. So I'll draw a path from here to here, which is to say, um, no, the things uh, didn't, weren't, weren't, weren't correct. So let's put uh, nope. So as in nope of the basics check, uh, checklist, those things were not, were not correct. 
Okay, and then the next thing we'll do is say, all right, well, let's assume that that basic checklist works. Now let's kind of go down and say, all right, let's do a more advanced. We maybe need to do a system reset. So we'll just do a uh, router reset. Okay, uh, get the customer to log in to their router and do a system reset. And I'll give them the link here, which is, um, so they've got it, uh, myrouter.net. Um, uh, uh, verify with the customer that this has resolved the issue. Okay, so that'll be the next instruction, and we'll do that if the basics checked out. Okay, so so we'll call this all outcome here all okay. So if the basics they were all okay, so we want to now go to our rudder reset. And then assuming the rudder reset um, um, works or doesn't work, we then add another couple of steps just to illustrate the principle, which is just to say, well, add one which is just says, um, you know, advanced diagnostic, which is um, you need to perform an advanced diagnostic check, um, ping the network from your location and ask the customer to verify um, they have received the ping. Okay, we'll admit, you know, obviously there'd be better instructions than this and, a, and an expert in routers would have a whole bunch to say about this. So <clears throat> we'll save that step. So we're gonna say that basically that this hasn't worked. So I'm gonna send them down this path, which is uh, still, nope. Okay, and then we'll add a, one last outcome to say that's worked, so we're good to go. So I'll add this step here. And I'm just gonna call it uh, done. Well done. All working, okay. And so we'll send the user down that path if they say that that, that worked. So all working. So you can see here we basically built a very simple flow. We're asking the a person using this app to check the router basics. If those haven't worked, then they need to check the cable. That's the most likely issue. If they have all worked and they still can't connect, then we need to do a router reset. If that uh, still doesn't work, then we need to do an advanced diagnostic. But if it looks like it's all working now, then we're, then we're done. Fairly straightforward. So the last thing we need to do is I just need to import the Salesforce service, which will uh, allow us to use the uh, social networking. So I've just gone to services, and I'll click on import existing. And again, if you don't have this, then you haven't gone through the getting started guide. And that's just another slap uh, just to say, go read that guide uh, so you can get these uh, things set up. So I'll import this service, which means that the service is now part of this flow. It's now um, using leveraging this service. So the nice thing is, is once you've gone through the guide, the sort of guide and got all the plugins uh, set up, uh, you only need to do that once. And then for every flow you build, you can just uh, reuse the services as needed. So there we have it. We've got our flow. We're all happy with it. It looks like it's all working. Now let's just try and run it and see uh, see what happens. So hit run. Okay, so the system's just gonna build our flow and get all the, uh, pull the pieces together so we have them and it's all in an executable form. Okay, so our flow is now uh, loading. And the first thing it's doing is it's asking us to log in because of course when we set up our flow, we said that um, it should be uh, bound to Salesforce. So uh, in this case, we have to log in. The user's gonna log in using their Salesforce credentials because we're we're binding this flow to a particular org in Salesforce. So it's important to know actually flow can be bound to many Salesforce orgs. You don't need to just use one. So a flow can actually cross different orgs and use uh, users from different orgs. So um, here I'll hit the Salesforce and then I've got my user credentials for a uh, user in Salesforce, and so I'll log in as them. <clears throat> and now that I'm logged in, uh, it's just gonna set up our initial setting. You can see here we are, we've got our screen uh, that says, okay, check the router basics. And you can see those arrows where we had the button, uh, had the, show the outcomes, now become buttons on the screen. So the, the uh, support person is being asked to do the basic router check. Um, so looking at this going, okay, they should, either they may be speaking to the customer, they may be with the customer, um, it could even be that a customer is actually using this, but let's just assume for the sake of this that uh, this is uh, an agent who is uh, helping a customer on a call. 
uh, and they're just going through the basics of the router check. So they're just going to check, you know, is the cable plugged in at both ends? Do we know the lights? Are they uh, flashing or not? And the customer says, yeah, actually, that's all okay, but I'm still not able to connect. So the person says, okay, we're all okay then. Let's go to the next screen. Now the system, as we set up, was saying, all right, now we need to do a system reset. Now let's just say in this example that um, we don't really know how to do system resets, and maybe we're a little bit worried about that. But we do know somebody who's done this before, because there's a friend of ours, or there's a colleague of ours that has um, that has done this before, and we know that they know the whole deal. So the, that person's name is Etienne. So I can now at mention that person into this flow. You know, hey, Etienne, um, I have a customer that needs a router reset. Can you help? So we just share that in the feed. And so this is showing some of the social capabilities that we have in the software. So immediately your, your app is not only guiding the person through this diagnostic, but it's also social so they can work with others in uh, getting this done. So what's happened is, is that post has gone into Chatter and Chatter has now notified um, Etienne to say that um, he's been mentioned in a post. Uh, and there's a link being provided to Etienne to join this flow and work with Etienne, uh, with uh, Steve to uh, get the job done. So that, that email link will be sent to them through the social network. Uh, they'll receive that, uh, and then they, they can then um, use it. So let's just imagine, uh, in this case, that Etienne isn't actually in the office. Etienne is out somewhere um, helping other customers and is on, their, um, is on his iPhone. So assuming now he's got the link and it's come through, we'll just uh, put that into Etienne's iPhone and Etienne now can, can join the flow. So what we see here is Etienne kind of loads up the app and you'll see immediately it's been optimized for the, the iPhone. Um, this is just using our standard, if, if you might call it vanilla uh, runtime. All the um, user interface you can see here is completely customizable. So if you wanted to build a beautiful native uh, iOS app that leverages this flow, you can absolutely do that. Same with the the uh, web-based version you're seeing on the left. All of that can be customized with your own themes and colors. It could be a native application embedded within uh, a, an agent desktop, or it could be a, embedded within a portal or a public website. It's really up to you. So Etienne now is going to log in using their Salesforce credentials because that's they've got an account in Salesforce also. Etienne at Dubois at Flow, sorry, dot demo. Okay, now Tien logs in, and immediately a Tien can see uh, that uh, um, he's been at mentioned in the feed. So he can also see the same screen that we're seeing on the desktop. But what's different is that again, his screen's been optimized for the phone, and it could even be that he's using a native app. But we're actually now working collaboratively together. Actually, what we're doing is really screen sharing. So, uh, but let, let's just uh, say that uh, Etienne wants to make comments. So I'll just say to Etienne, uh, hey, uh, Steve, it's easy. Just uh, get the customer to log in and hit the big red reset button. I have that comment. And then you can see that um, Steve's got that comment back. So that that's... Uh, Fairly straightforward. So you can see they're now collaborating together. So now it could be that, you know, um, Etienne is saying, well, I'll just, I'll just wait and hold on. I'll just make another comment saying, you know, I'll, I'll uh, wait. Uh, you got everything. So basically Etienne's saying, I'm going to wait and just make sure that you're all right. So let's just, you know, keep going. So again, Steve can see this sort of coming through and things. Okay, well... Speaking to the customer now, we've done that reset, has it worked? Okay, looks like it's all working. So I'll hit the all working button. Now what's nice about this is because the app is social and because we're working together, Etienne has also been navigated. So we really are doing a screen sharing exercise, uh, which is um, you know, helping the two of them work together to get this case done. So we can imagine now that um, now they both know what's happened. It's very clear that, you know, well done, it's all working. Etienne on the phone now knows it's all working. Steve's very happy it's uh, all working. Steve now wants to kind of like the fact that Etienne waited for him, and uh, we're all good. So you can see now with uh, many who how you can build very social, uh, very helpful applications to help your uh, staff help customers uh, more effectively.
and that's the demo thank you